What's going on guys, John Alder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, we're going to look at line plots with matplotlib, pandas, and python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at line charts, but before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. It's all my courses, videos, and books for one small fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in this video, we're going to look at creating line charts with pandas and matplotlib. So we've got a file, I'm just calling it line. We've got our basic starter code we've been using for the last few videos. I've imported pandas and numpy, and we've also got this matplotlib in line that allows us to do charts and graphs in our Jupyter notebook. So I've just got some random data that I've created with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and some random numbers. So let's create a line chart. So Let's come down here and we've got our data frame, my underscore df, and then we could just call dot plot and set the kind equal to line like we've done so many times before. And we get this basic line chart. Now, uh, these are going negative and positive. Maybe you want that, maybe you don't. So we could change this to absolute values if we want to make this a little more even. So we could just call the abs function and now we get all positive numbers. So, okay, that looks cool. Now this is the standard width for our lines. We can make them bigger or smaller if we want. So let's come down here and let's copy this guy. And we can change the line width with just LW, right? So if we change this to five, we get these very thick lines. We can change it to 10 if we want. Oh man, it looks like crayons or something. We could go down to one, which is fairly skinny. I think a little skinnier than the standard, which is what, maybe two? That looks about the same, something like that. I'm just gonna leave this at five because man, <laughs> that's gigantic. So here we've got everything from our data frame, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we could easily just have one or two things. So let me come up here and grab this guy and let's set this to just Monday. We could do that just by passing in these square brackets and then passing Monday, which is what we've named it, you know, right here when we defined our data, right? So, okay, we get this uh, just one thing. Maybe you like that, maybe you want a couple of different columns. So we could do that just by wrapping this whole thing in another set of brackets. And then in our first set, just slapping a comma and putting whatever other column we want. So here we have Monday and Tuesday, All right? Very cool. We could change the size of this. Now this is a nice size, but that's because I've got my browser zoomed in so you guys can see it. Now, normally the browser is going to be like this big, right? So if you want to make this bigger to fit the size of your browser, we could do that. We could just change the fig size and it's going to be a tuple and we'll just pass in dimensions. So if I want 10 by five, for instance, we could hit this boom. Now it's much bigger. Of course, if I zoom in, make this bigger to see. Yeah, you can still tell it's a little bit bigger, uh, but very cool. And you can resize this to anything you want. I mean, you know, five by five, make it real small, uh, five by two, I don't know, make it really small, whatever you want. You can play around with these numbers very easily. And very cool. We can add a title, of course. We've done this with other types of plots here. We could say title equals my awesome line chart, right? So now we get this title, it says my awesome line chart. We've done things like that before. We can also change the shading here, right? We can set the alpha to 0 0.3, for instance. Now it's very lightly shaded. Of course, this goes all the way up to one. So if you want it darker, it'd be like 0 0.9. You can set 0 0.1, so it's very barely visible, right? I don't know, uh, but that's cool. We can take out or leave in the legend. So we could go legend equals false. Run this. Now there is no legend here. You can see up here we have a legend that says Monday, Tuesday, this little box. Take that out if you want. And of course, like most of the charts we've been looking at in this last few videos, we can do this a second way. We can go my underscore df dot plot dot line. And you basically get the same thing. Not all charts you could do this, so I tend to not use this method, but you could do the same things. You know, you could set the alpha in here to, you know, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, make it, you know, all the things you could normally do in there, uh, you could still do. And that's cool. So those are line charts, very useful. You'll use these for all sorts of things and super easy with matplotlib and pandas. 
So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So it's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.